It's one of the most iconic and mysterious styles of Chinese martial arts, consisting of unpredictable, drunken movements and tactics of confusing one's opponent, the practitioner often appearing like a drunken beggar with aggressors grossly underestimating their skill. So what is the background of this famous style? How did it come to be? And does it really require you to become an alcoholic? Wow. Teacher, mm, it's so strong. The, what is it? All that and more in this video on the origins of drunken boxing. The drunken style, or zui quan, literally drunken fist in Chinese, traces its roots back over a thousand years through both Buddhist and Taoist schools of Kung Fu. In the Buddhist school, you can trace its origins back to the beginning of the Tang Dynasty around 600 AD. Tang general and future emperor Li Shimin was involved in a battle against rebel forces in the city of Luoyang. When his side started losing, 13 Shaolin monks from the Shaolin Temple in Henan province came to his aid, winning a decisive decisive victory. Li Shimin's father was the first emperor of the Tang Dynasty, but later abdicated, making the way for Li Shimin, who reigned as Emperor Tang Taizong. But he didn't forget about the contribution of the Shaolin monks. He gifted the temple 600 acres of land, as well as meat and wine. The meat and wine broke the Shaolin monks' precepts of a vegetarian diet and no alcohol, but with permission from the emperor, some monks did start eating meat and drinking. This may have led to the development of drunken styles at Shaolin, which seemed to be related to another style, Di Tang Quan, which involved a lot of rolling on the floor. In the Song Dynasty, there was supposedly a famous martial artist who accidentally killed a man and sought refuge in the Shaolin Monastery to ease his guilty conscience, but he still loved wine. This caused him to brawl with and defeat over 30 monks. The next morning, upon waking from his drunken stupor, he remembered some of the moves he had pulled off in his drunken state and formed them into a new style. We see similar references to drunken martial arts with the stories of Lu Zhishen and Wu Song in the classic Chinese novel Shui Hu Zhuan, or Outlaws of the Marsh. Lu Zhishen, after killing a man, accidentally conceals his identity and becomes a Buddhist monk on Mount Wu Tai, or Wu Tai Shan. Despite taking up the Buddhist life, he still loved to go to nearby towns and drink. In his intoxicated state, he would come back to the temple and have drunken brawls with the monks. He didn't last very long and got kicked out of that temple. Upon moving to another the temple, he did the same thing too, but then in a moment of glory, he single-handedly defeated a group of over 20 thieves, and then for good measure, uprooted a tree with his bare hands. Then Wu Song, another hero from the story, was also known for his ability to fight while drunk. He was once passing through a village and saw a sign at an inn saying, San wan bu guo gang. San wan bu guo gang. After three bowls of liquor, don't cross the ridge. Well, Wu Song went and downed 15 bowls of liquor and then headed across the ridge anyway. He stopped for a rest and quickly fell asleep because he was drunk, but then he was rudely awakened by a tiger. But this made the fighting expert spring into action and he killed the tiger with his bare hands. Although these stories are fictional, the inspiration may have come from real historical characters. Then in the Taoist tradition, the drunken style attributes itself to the eight immortals or Ba Xian, of which Lu Dongbin was the leader. God Lu, the drunkard with internal strength. These Taoist immortals supposedly went on a trip together and got drunk and got so rowdy that they disturbed the gods of the sea, who then challenged them and the eight immortals defeated the sea gods with their drunken techniques. Some forms of drunken boxing, particularly in the south, incorporate different techniques for each of the eight immortals. Han, the drunken god holding a pie. Now, obviously, all of these stories are just folklore, and it's hard to know whether they are real or not. The lineage of this style is not really clear, and that's probably because drunken boxing is not really a complete style in and of itself. A drunken form would normally be learned by a person already proficient in another style of kung fu. They can then pull out the drunken style at critical times to confuse their opponent. The signature hand position of the style is the cup holding fist. God Liu, holding a cup in his hand. A 
pear. Now your wine spill. Oh no. This fist can then be used for knuckle strikes, grabbing, and striking pressure points. One of the most famous practitioners of the drunken style is beggar So, So Chan in Cantonese or Su Chan in Mandarin. He lived during the late Qing Dynasty and was one of the Ten Tigers of Canton or Guangdong Shihu. And the legendary folk hero Wong Fei Hung was one of his students. Beggar So is the character portrayed in the movie Drunken Master who teaches the drunken style to Jackie Chan's character who is Huang Fei Hung or Wong Fei Hung in Cantonese. The particular form of drunken boxing that Beggar So practiced was the Eight Drunk Immortals technique or Zui Ba Xian and that is what he teaches to Jackie Chan in the movie. In addition to the drunken style, he also had some other wild techniques like Jin Wan Tie Kui, where he would hold an iron bowl in one hand and strike at an opponent's pressure points with chopsticks in the other hand. That really sounds like some Kung Fu Panda stuff. While I couldn't find a clip of that exact technique, you do see Beggar So's use of household items as improvised kung fu props in many of the movies the character appears in. So do you have to be an alcoholic to practice the drunken style? Well, in the past, certainly, most of the literature about the drunken style says that it was alcohol that gave these kung fu practitioners their secret power. And you see that in all the movies as well. As soon as they get drunk, they're suddenly awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! But most of the people in the modern world who are practicing it are sober. I think I'll leave this one up to your imagination. In the modern world, the style is often seen in wushu competitions and is one of the most physically demanding styles out there due to the amount of falling on the floor and jumping back up again, plus quick changes in direction. I mean, I guess that would help if you were drunk, right? If you had to constantly fall on the floor, it might ease the pain. And the spirit of the drunken style has found its way into other fighting arts too. We see the idea of using unpredictable moves to confuse your opponent in the boxing style of Emmanuel Augustus, who earned the nickname the Drunken Master. All right, guys, that is the video for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. The idea of this actually came from a viewer. So if you have something you want to see us make a video about, do leave a comment and maybe we will do it. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.